See, the lesson for everybody is that you can look this bad in high school and still go places in life, all right? And my brother at least had it right. He shaved or something. I mean, I gotta say, your brother's looking sharp. I mean, sharp. I was sporting kind of an interesting, you know, half mustache, it's a half look. like. It's a look. Terry Castro, hi, I'm hey, Libby Casey, nice to, to see meet you. you. Yeah. Thank you for coming back to Welcome high school. Welcome to Thomas Jefferson High School. Do you come back here often? Uh, well, I pass it all the time, yeah. but actually, um, I spent quite a bit of time here in between college and law school because I came back <laughs> and I was a permanent substitute teacher for a semester. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think I got asked for a hall pass once or twice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Good yeah, to see you. Pleasure seeing hey, you. you. Familiar face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you guys went to school together? Yes. We did. Yes, yeah. We did. Okay. We were all there at the same time. We were all in the same time. Okay, so who was cooler? Oh, he was definitely cooler, oh, he was definitely cooler okay, than me. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I used to joke that uh, when I was in high school, I was so quiet that I would talk to two or three people a day, and one of them was my twin brother. Yeah. Okay, well, I have to let uh, a little secret out here. He said that you used to walk around with like a giant stack of books, and then even though you had lockers, and there are lockers all over the school, that you just like carried books with you everywhere. Yeah, that's probably true. You know? I remember <laughs> like, lugging, that, you know. That the, we were well, at least here to school. They were, you you were strong. Up all night we were under. taking it seriously yes, and exactly. stuff. And, uh, yeah, but, and we graduated in three years. We were kind of in a hurry. Who does that? My brother that? and I were in a hurry. So if you were introverted, did, did you go to many parties? Did you, what did you do in high school to like have fun? Uh, yeah, sometimes we'd hang out at our friends' houses. You know, we'd play like Mario night. Brothers and Duck Hunt. I think we, you know, we had like three games. Yeah, so not big partiers. <laughs> no, 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 in fact, the, I remember the first party that I went to when I got to Stanford, right after the year started. Joaquin and I went and they had these red solo cups uh, and I didn't drink uh, because there was a time in my life when my mom drank a lot, drank too much. Eventually she quit, but at that time, you know, it, it scared me, it affected me, and, and I just never started drinking. And so that day, that first party that I went to, I took one of the Red Solo cups and I went into the restroom and I filled it with water. And I walked around the whole party uh, acting, kind of sipping from it, acting like I was drinking because I felt what people describe as a peer pressure to fit in. That was the last time that I ever did that. If you were a character in The Breakfast Club, who would you be? Are you like the job? <laughs> I appreciate that you've hit my generation well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Um, yeah, well, I'd be I mean, Ali Sheedy, like I'd be like the weird girl. I mean, I guess I would be Anthony Michael Hall. <laughs> A brain, a beauty, a jock, a rebel, and a recluse. You know, I'm definitely not Judd Nelson. You know, I'm not smoking out in the middle of the high school. Right. I'm not the athlete, so I'm not uh, Emilio Estevez. You can be Ali but, Sheedy, too, if you want. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> you were cool I'm not rebelling against my parents, either. You were really close to your family. You were close yeah, to your mom. Yeah, you know, neither Joaquin nor I really ever had a phase where we were, you know, just pissed off at our mom or my grandmother or, in, I mean, you know, we acted out sometimes, but um, we always had a very good relationship with my mother and my grandmother, and I think a lot of that was born out of, um, you know, seeing what they had gone through and just appreciating the sacrifices that they were making for us. Did you go to the prom? I did go to the prom. Um, I went to two proms because I, my girlfriend at the time actually went to a school across town. So you talked to girls? So yeah, 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 of course. I wasn't that bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, yeah. You're I like, I had two I friends. I wasn't that antisocial. Was, yeah, no, was, I had a girlfriend. Uh, I had a girlfriend. Uh, she just didn't go to the same school, so. Sure. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no proof. <laughs> You know, this is the fear of every single high schooler, right? You get into the cafeteria, maybe there's one or two random seats, and you don't know exactly where you belong, where you're supposed to sit. I had Joaquin with me the whole way through. Uh, maybe more importantly, when we actually went to college and then the law school, uh, having him there with me. Uh, you know, it's not everybody that has the chance to go to college or to graduate school with 
their best friend and their sibling. That made it a lot easier. And you chose to do those things together. Yeah, we couldn't get rid of each other. He says he couldn't get rid of me. Um, I don't think that we ever really thought about going somewhere separately. You write in your book about like the one place you would lose it was in fights with your brother. You guys fought. Yeah, yeah. Like actual fights. Did you but ever fight here? No, Joaquin and I never fought here. Uh, but not that I remember. But on the tennis courts. On, well, on the tennis courts, yeah. Okay. On the tennis courts, my brother and I were terrible. In fact, thinking back, you know, our coach, our tennis coach, poor woman, <laughs> because we would slam our rackets, we would cuss at each other. It was so bad that, you know, eventually we really didn't even play each other. We played together as a team. So you figured out how to, yeah, like, Yeah, you know, we were together, you know, that made it a little bit easier. Um, but at home, sometimes we'd get into fist fights, and so eventually we developed this, this kind of method of fighting where we would take turns hitting each other's shoulder as hard as we could. The only advantage of that was that you know, we wouldn't hurt each other's face or anything, but like our arms would be completely black and blue, oh you know. Is it inspiring to have like young people coming up to you and talking to you and? A few years ago when I was uh, uh, 30 years old, I ran to become the city's youngest elected mayor ever and I lost. But one of the things I remembered about the campaign was that during the campaign, a lot of parents would come up to me and they wanted to introduce their daughter or their son so that they could point and say, you can do that. Um, because when I was walking these halls, I never imagined that I would be the one that people would be coming up to and saying, hey, you know, can I take a picture with you? Or, um, you know, I hope I can do what you did.